I'm going to propose a, a change to how we think about our clocks and our schedules uh, for day-to-day -day activities. It's a little bit outside the box, but I think it's important to to realize that just because something has been done for hundreds of years, that it's the only way to do something. And this comes to a problem I had, and then I started to realize that other people have this, a similar problem um, of um, a, a combination of problems, actually. I often feel that when it's time for bed, uh, I'm not really ready for bed. I'm still very active. At the same time, I'm not really getting enough physical activity in the day because there aren't that many hours in the day. And the other problem I have is um, sometimes I, I uh, obviously have trouble getting up during in the morning as well. And I noticed um, when I was in college, I actually stumbled upon the solution quite by accident. Uh, I had a time when I had just broken up with my girlfriend and I was kind of depressed and kind of holed up in my parents' basement. Um, I was in college at the time and we had spring break. And at the beginning of spring break, during the school year, I was sleeping at maybe 10 in the evening and getting up at 6 in the morning, typical times. Um, but during the break, when I didn't have any time commitment, I didn't have any social activities, I kept sleeping later and later and later. Oh, I think the second night I might have been sleeping at midnight, and then the third night I might have been staying up until 1 or 2 in the morning, and so on and so forth, until at the end of spring break, I was going to bed at around 8 or 9 in the morning, and I was feeling really good. I got a lot of activity every day. I, uh, I, we live in the suburbs, and I used to take a lot of walks in town, and um, I actually was able to crash when I got into bed uh, by, by the end of the day because it had been 26 hours since I last slept, and um, I, I had enough time to, to do stuff that I wanted to do, um, including probably looking for my next girlfriend, which I eventually did find. So that was good. Um, but I went back to school and I went back to the problems of not having enough hours in the day and not being able to sleep on time and not getting enough sleep and all that. And it made me realize with modern technology, it is very easy to have a 26-hour schedule. It's just that everybody around you would have to follow the same schedule. I mean, if I were the only one who had this quirk, then yeah, I guess I'll have to live with it. But uh, it seems like everybody I talk to complains that there's not enough time to get physical activity during the day. And they also complain that they can't sleep at night because they're so active. And it seems like you could kill two birds with one stone just by doing this. And it would cost almost nothing because nowadays we have LED lighting, right? And um, it's, it's pretty expensive to run the AC. I actually heard that um, nowadays a daylight savings time actually costs us money. Uh, it's It seems like uh, we, we have this... Um, we have a hard time going away from the status quo. I mean, nobody seems to like daylight savings time, but nobody seems to have the um, the, 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 the power to, to, to change it, it seems like. Um, but it, 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 it really wouldn't cost anything. The only cost I, would, I could think about is that you would have fewer cycles in a year. So you might, depending on what kind of work you do, you might have fewer work days. Uh, but I think we could make adjustments to to, uh, to account for that as well. Uh, another way that I've realized that uh, a 26-hour day might work for me and for other people as well is when I'm traveling, of course. Uh, you know, I used to, um, when I would go on vacation, I, when I was going to school in Rochester and I would go on vacation to Pittsburgh where my family was, I would always dread the end of the vacation coming up, right? Oh, I would look at the calendar and be like, oh my God, three days and I'm going back to school, two more days, one more day. And it would always be this dreadful countdown at the end of the vacation. But nowadays, now that I'm living in Seattle and I go on vacation to either Pittsburgh or Rochester, and I might still dread the end of the vacation, but I realized, oh my God, I'm going to have a 27-hour day at the end of this vacation. And uh, it kind of dampens that dread a, a whole lot. Uh, if, if it were the other way around, I'm not sure how I would feel. Though, If I were living in New York and I'm going on vacation here in Seattle or California, I, I probably would double the dread. I, I haven't experienced that yet. So uh, sometimes I also go on trips to, uh, to the computer gaming contests. They're held in either Europe or Taiwan. And um, those are 
those are too many extra hours for me. That really messes me up. But the, the thing is, when I get messed up like that, a few more 26, 27 hour days will quickly correct it. So that's okay as well. Um, so I quickly realized that my body cycles at around 27 hours. Um, most of my friends say they, they, they cycle at 25, 26 hours. But even an extra hour a day would probably be very helpful because I recently drove from my family's home in Pittsburgh uh, to Seattle, and I took six days to drive that. And those six days, I was able to sleep a whole lot better, too. And I was able to stop places and get some exercise. And uh, and I, I didn't feel like I was still very jumpy when I went to bed. So so even an extra half an hour every day seems to work for me. Um, I, I recently was learning about how people who study Mars, and there's rovers on Mars as we speak right now, uh, they have to follow the Martian day, which is 24 hours and 40 minutes. So NASA has designed this special watch that these people wear, and they follow the, that cycle. Of, and of it, I, I think I would do very well at that job, assuming I knew what Mars was all about. Um, the other thing I like about having these oddball uh, cycles, uh, I've had a few times when I was in between jobs around spring break, obviously, when I did these oddball cycles. The other thing that I liked when I was doing this was that I got to experience all hours of the day. Um, some activities of like like going going to the bar at night, they only happen at night, right? Uh, in the middle of the night. Or uh, what else have I done? Uh, just being able to, to uh, look at various, uh, well, I just talked about Mars. I, I love to study about astronomy and being able to see certain configurations in the sky. Sometimes it only happens at certain hours of the day, right? Uh, when I have these... Uh, 25 hour cycles i get to see all kinds of activities that might go on oh i know it's so it's so weird but sometimes the best memories are made when you're very casually doing them i was recently at a grocery store and they no longer they no longer open 24 hours they used to open 24 hours and it's not like i need to get something every night i don't have a schedule that's like that but I, i'm really gonna miss all uh, the times when i went to that grocery store in the middle of the night I was just thinking about, um, I had a car accident a year and a half ago. I was living in the car at the time, so I ended up uh, taking a sleeping bag just like this one and hiding behind a tree for a few nights until I could settle into an apartment. And uh, I would go to that grocery store in the middle of the night, 3, 4 a.m., and it's good memories. I mean, obviously, I don't like having a car accident. I don't like having to live behind a tree. But it's a memory that I'll, it's an experience that I'll probably not get to experience again for some time and hopefully never again. So, so it, it was a good chapter in my life, if you will. And now, now that I don't get to go to the grocery store at three in the morning, I'm going to miss it. And uh, my point is a lot of people never get to see 3 a.m., whether or not they get to go to that grocery store. And having a 25, 26 hour schedule could probably change that. Thanks for watching.